So in this video, it's November 7th, 2023. Happy birthday, Kyle. Kyle's my son. Miss you, bud. I <laughs> wish we could do some more fishing trips together. Uh, and in this video, it's not about catching. It's about cooking. This is my first cooking video. Uh, I thought I'd throw one together and knock this one right out of the park. I took a couple recipes, combined them. Uh, just a little bit of this one, a little bit of that one. One of them was from Joel. Joel, thanks, bud. Thanks for giving me the idea to do this. And you'll see how I changed it up a little bit from what you told me and these turned out great so uh, remember if you like this video give me that thumbs up you want to see more like this smash that subscribe button down there tie lines see you on water I'm going to try something completely new here. Um, I'm going to make salmon burgers. And so what I've done, I've finely chopped uh, a salmon filet, skinned it, boned it, chopped it as best as I could with a uh, butcher knife. Um, and now I'm going to, I read this online, I'm going to make a paste first. So I'm just going to take... A spoonful maybe a little more into the food processor and I'm going to go two tablespoons of mayonnaise and two tablespoons of Spicy brown or Dijon mustard, if you happen to have it. All right. Now, I'm kind of deviating a little bit, but I think what I'm going to do is also um, just put a little garlic powder. Some onion powder, um, I'm going to measure out my paprika because it doesn't take much. I'm going to do half a teaspoon smoked paprika. and. Um, and maybe I'll do some minced, some minced onion, if I can find it. Looks like things got moved around here a little bit. Where is my minced onion? I don't have any minced onion. All right, that's got to go on the list. All right, so now I am going to make this paste. And then I'm going to mix the paste in with the rest of the Tasty enough to me, and that's pretty much going to be the binder. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add all this into my bowl here. in 
sink now I'm going to take this paste and Cleaning crew, no raw salmon for the dogs. Nothing like having dogs under your feet while you're cooking. All right, so now I'm just mixing this. I should probably just get my hands in there. It is looking pretty good though. Maybe I could add just a little bit more of this paste. Because I am going to make these patties and I am going to um, coat them in more panko. Like I said, I'm deviating from, you know, you read a couple of recipes online and uh, you just kind of, I just take pieces of one and the other and just kind of, you know, See what comes out when All right. and I am going to deep fry these I'm going to heat up my my little deep fryer We have one of these for salt too, but basically for the fresh cracked pepper. That looks good. Alright. That's probably about a quarter teaspoon. Room here. Get 
like that because they don't do good anymore. All right, now it's time to get my hands dirty. So I think what I'm going to do is get another bowl here. Maybe just a soup bowl. That's all I need to do. One of these. These are new from Costco. And what I'm going to do is just. Just like that. Now, I'm going to make. salmon patties so now I'm going to deep fry these so that's my little fry daddy from uh, Fred Meyer uh, it's at 350 so I'm gonna put these I'm gonna try to fry one of these right now pull my candy thermometer out Give that about a minute, minute and a half. Smells pretty good. I do this uh, with my halibut too when I do my beer batter. Whatever is better without the light on. That's pretty dark. Put my headlight back on. I'm at mountain patio frying fish outside. All right, let's see what this looks like. Ooh. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty tasty. Let that cook just a little bit more. I am cooking in, um, oh, good stick. Perfect. All right. Let's go for another one. See that? That looks pretty good. I can't wait. It's been about a minute and a half. I 
what this is that it is. Oh, I'm glad I put that cardboard down. Boy, those look pretty good. Because what happens with the beer batter and the uh, halibut is that it sticks. been about a minute. Yeah, let it go a little bit more. It's been raining cats and dogs all day. It's pretty wet out here. Like, oh yeah, nice golden brown. <laughs> oh yeah, that looks pretty damn good. Let that go for about another 30 seconds. Damn, those look pretty damn good. Unplug that. I'm just going to squirt a little lime. And I am just going to take a little taste here. That looks really good. Hmm. Wow. That is really tasty. So in case uh, you guys want to know what I'm using, it is that. Panko breadcrumbs Italian style. Uh, Golden's spicy brown. I think you could do Dijon, plain old brown or yellow mustard, whatever you suit your fancy. Good old best food, real mayonnaise. My paprika, uh, I go to Penzi's. This is a Hungarian style sweet. I use that for my chili, so that's what I put in there as well. And uh, good old McCormick's garlic powder and onion powder. 
Um, <laughs> these go in a lot of stuff. And some fresh ground pepper. <laughs> 